Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so what you're looking at here is my fully completed Storm Talon. Um, it's been, uh, I want to say like, maybe like a month and a half since, uh, since I got it, if maybe, if not more. Um, well, let's see, you know, it was the Friday after Thanksgiving, so, well, yeah, about, about a month, I say. Um, so, that's not too bad. Um, anyway, so yeah, this guy has been kind of in the works, just kind of on the back table and been, um, been working on him, so, so let me just kind of show you guys what I've got in here, so, hopefully my camera doesn't, like, decide to crap out on me right now, so if you guys can kind of see, ooh, that's cool, there, so, um, there's a little bit of OLS going on from the, the screens in there. So that's kind of cool. Um, the glass is a little bit scratched up because I did that, so it's um, it looks like it's more realistic, I guess, because it, it comes it comes like completely clear and so. And then you actually have to draw on these little blue lines here, which is a little annoying, but yeah, it makes it work. So um, I went with the I so all right. Let me go ahead and say I tried to magnetize this kit, but. Um, GW has done a phenomenal job of making it almost impossible, um, to magnetize these kits. It can be done, I just really, it was like, I didn't have the patience for it after, you know, three hours. So, I just glued these on. Um, so what the system I have, or the setup I have on this guy is, um, the Typhoon missiles, and then obviously the Twin Link Assault Cannon. So... I'll talk about why I like that in a second, so just give a little spin through here, so see how the vents, there's a, looks like it's been darkened out, so, um, back here on the, uh, on the box they actually have the number for everything, like a wing up here, but, um, I, I'm not very good at freehand, so that's why, um, uh, that's that, so, it's just a decal. Um, also, if you're wondering why it's not so shiny, I can do this, and it it reflects a little bit, but not as much as a decal normally would. Um, yes, yeah, it's a decal, but the reason I get rid of that shininess um, is really simple. You just got to go back and paint over it, um, and it'll take care of that right away. And some people go, well, that defeats the purpose of the decal. Not really, because the decal still has that smooth look. Plus, you know, the, you can pretty much position it however you want and not have to worry about it and then you can go back and take care of that gleam or the the gleam or shine or whatever it's called so anyways okay well there he is um, I'll just come out here to the base so you guys can see it so uh, that's a that's an orc head right there the skull piece um, from a scout sniper box set so alright um, so basically what do I think of this guy uh, I think he's pretty cool. You know, first of all, he's a flyer, and everyone knows that in sixth edition, flyers are pretty good. Um, so this guy, um, I personally like the Typhoon missile system. A lot of people think that. Well, I guess not a lot of people, but um, it comes with a couple options. First of all, it has the twin link heavy bolter, which I would go ahead and say go ahead and upgrade because you're never going to want to use that because it's just complete garbage and unless you just like have don't have the room for anything else there's no reason to take that also don't ever take the twin link last cannon because um, it's one shot it's like the Icarus last cannon it's twin link yes but you know if you're combining one last cannon shot with an assault cannon you're not going to do a lot of damage um, uh, sky hammer missiles sky hammer missiles are great if this if like this guy's only role is to go after um, Let's see, uh, not infantry, but uh, other flyers. So if that's going to be his only job, definitely go with the sky hammer. So um, I personally like the typhoons because it gives me the tactical flexibility that I'm looking for. So I can do blast templates if there's hordes. I can do um, you know the two missile shots if I'm going to fire at other vehicles or flyers for that matter. Um, because in my list, this guy is going to be functioning for flyers. But, you know, if he only has one flyer, and I come in and I kill it, then there's really absolutely no reason, um, absolutely, not absolutely, um, absolutely, absolutely no reason to, you know, just have three string seven shots, 
going in infantry, it's kind of just like, eh. So I'd rather have the blast templates. Um, so, put and uh, so and plus, um, even if this guy's a jank, those weapons can all still be fired. So, um, so that's kind of my setup on him. If you guys don't agree with that, tell me why. Um, and also tell me like why you would take a certain weapon over something else. Um, I believe last cannons are 20 points and everything else is 25. So, or maybe I have that wrong. I don't know. Um, anyway, so yeah, just like leave your comments below and uh, tell me what you guys think of the storm talent. Have you guys played with it? Um, is it good for you? Do you like it? Um, do you like the style of it personally? I'm kind of. It, it kind of grows on me, because I didn't like it at first, so I was like, eh. You know, everyone makes fun of it because it's the space potato. Because um, it looks like a baked potato, I guess. And with wings. So, um, but yeah. So anyways, I started to like it. It looks kind of cool now. Once you kind of get it and put it together, it's like, oh, it's, not, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. So, so leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, more to come.